Hello there, my name is Matt Rabel and I was all dressed up from a previous engagement and figured what a great outfit to do a screencast in. And so welcome, I will show you how to use the Okta CLI to create an Angular app in only a couple minutes. It'll be secure with authentication and everything. Take out my glasses to reduce the glare. It's so easy, you won't believe it. So first of all, you'll need to install the Okta CLI from cli.okta.com. There's instructions for Mac OS, for Windows, and for Linux. And then once you have that, you can open up a terminal window and do Okta Start Angular. That's it. If you don't have an account, it prompts you like this to create one. And what this will do is create a brand new Okta org for you. It'll download an Angular app from GitHub. It'll configure it to work with your new org and register an application with the proper redirect URIs for this Angular app. And so after we download it, we will have to do an NPM install and start it, but then you'll see everything works splendidly. So we do need an email verification code, paste it in there. And you'll see it creates that new Okta domain for us. And we can set our password by opening this link. You can't do password one, it prevents that. All right, so now we're in, we're good. Go back to our terminal and you can see it, uh, it configured a client ID for our Angular app and it tells us to CD into the Angular directory and run npm install. Zero vulnerabilities, thumbs up. Now we can do npm start. And then it says to open our browser on localhost 4200. If we click login, we're already logged in, right? That's the beauty of single sign-on. We could, of course, log out and log back in. The only way this isn't going to work is if I forget my password. There we are. And if we look at the profile, you'll see all of the claims from our ID token. So thank you for this brief and quick demo of Okta, CLI, and Angular. Hope you liked it. Subscribe and come back for more.